grocery store to pick out her her birthday cake stuff. She has she's celebrating a birthday this weekend and having a birthday party, pool party with friends and cake and yeah. And and it is also my dad's birthday party this weekend, so we're going to see him first and then we're coming back so she can have her pool party. And uh, so now we have to go to the store. We gotta pick out she wants a cookie cake and we're getting cupcakes. We gotta pick out you know, what she wants on them and stuff like that, so. So happy birthday. Well, it's not, go it's not gonna be my birthday. I'm just gonna be getting all the presents and stuff, but well, my birthday's on a Tuesday. Right, her actual birthday's on a Tuesday. So, we're, we're celebrating, we're having her birthday party. Two days I, early. I already said that. Two days early. Anyway. But it's okay. I'm excited. So yeah, so that'll be that'll, that would be included in the weekend vlog, the uh, birthday party, of course. Are you you could take your um, uh, waterproof case for your GoPro, and I can jump off the diving board with it. Yeah, I'll totally do that. Plus, I have my drone there. Yeah. Get aerial footage of it. What all. if I dropped it? What? Your GoPro. You'd have to dive to the bottom and get it. Oh gosh, that would be scary. I've never touched the bottom. Well, just don't drop it. I'll, I'll strap it to you with the chest mount oh, so okay. you won't drop it. Okay. Alrighty, we've got to head into the store. See you in the next clip. She says I yelled at her, which I did not. Oh, please, you're just saying that because you're on camera. No, I, did I yell? Yes. I, I yelled. Yes. Well, you, like, oh, you, you were just I was, yelling, I, talking. I was talking stern. I did not yell. So, anyway, we have a, we have a situation here. We have this situation. We got around the situation. All right, so let me explain. What happened was, Emily has a very bad habit of leaving stuff all over the house. Her stuff, you can tell where she's been because there's a trail, and you can and you can tell where she's where she stopped because there's a trail from where she's been to where she stopped. Is this not true? <laughs> it is true. But okay. So this morning we were cleaning the house, and I said to her, "Help me clean," and she said, "Okay." And so she was helping me clean. And she's a good cleaner. She she clean, cleans the house. She does a good job. She she gets it all nice and clean. No, no problems. But this morning she was mildly distracted by musically. And when I say mildly, I mean very distracted by musically. And uh, every time I went into a room, there was some of her stuff. And uh, some of the stuff I asked her to do wasn't done. So I said, oh, and, and she and does, you said I okay, clean hold, good. hold because you weren't, <laughs> but, but what started it all was the fact that the dishwasher was all dirty dishes. I was trying to put the dishes away and I'm like, I don't think these are clean. And she's like, yeah, dad, I ran it last night. No, no, it wasn't last night. It was like two nights ago. So the dishwasher was filthy. All the dishes were filthy, so we had to we had to squeeze in the remaining dishes and run it. But she told me that she ran it. I thought I did. And and every day, every morning, the dishwasher is dirty. And I say, Emily, did you run the dishwasher? Yes, I did, Dad. Open the dishwasher. <laughs> it's dirty. I think I do. <laughs> so I was fed up. 
I was tired of of her chores not getting done. And uh, no, we're not stopping. <laughs> So so away? she so she said that I was yelling at her and I was not yelling. I was sternly telling her, "Listen. You got to start doing better or there's going to be consequences." Okay. You are So there, the that's, it's it's in the vlog. It's in the vlog. She said, "No, dad, you'd be mean to me this morning. You're being annoying. You're being so rotten to me and telling me what to do because I'm 11 and I'm not supposed to have to have rules." <laughs> you have rules and I enforce them. So, there you have it, guys. That's my daughter. And uh, her trying to prove her dad wrong. And, uh, I'm so close. So, there you have it. <laughs> Next time you want to talk about this on the vlog, you might want to think it through. Maybe you should not think it through. I didn't have to. I knew I was right. <laughs> no, you're not. Ow! A little parenting 101. Most of the time... Not every time. Most of the time, your parents are right. No, they're never right. They're always wrong. Because they're not smart. Well, remember that birthday party I was telling you about? Oh, yeah. About that. You're really We're going to scratch that. That's not even going to happen this weekend. So, I'll save me a lot of money this weekend. Not having to buy all them presents and, and that cookie cake and cupcakes we just ordered. We don't even have to pick those up. All right. Birthday party's canceled. See you guys in the next clip. Okay, heading back home. You know, some, sometimes you just can't, you just can't drive on a golf cart. Sometimes you just gotta take a car, which I don't have. But this, this is crazy. Here, I'll make you better. Thank you. That kind of, kind of helped. All right, we're heading home. I'm gonna grab the drone. It is a very, a very calm day out. We're talking like one mile an hour winds. I've got to take advantage of this all day long um, because I, we live in the flatlands. We don't get this option very often. So I will see you guys up in the air. Bye. Up in the air. That's what I said. That's what I said. Up in the air. Okay. So um, he's a little bit mental. <laughs> Me? Yeah, and he doesn't have that big of a brain. Oh. So, okay. bye. Oh, gosh. days like this calm days like there is absolutely zero wind none it is just calm I got loads of flight time um, naturally I mean I understand that but it's just it never happens right here it's so flat around here that it's just always windy and today the treetops look at these treetops they're not even moving not even swaying just so calm. I love it. I wish it was like this. I mean, I guess I appreciate the wind when it is windy or when I'm when I'm running and there's a nice breeze or whatever. But when I want to fly, 
I want it like this. This is perfect. So nice. It flew so much better. No struggles, no drifting, holding altitude like you wouldn't believe. Just flying like a charm. I mean, it, it usually flies great anyway, even in the wind, but days like this, awesome. Just so calm, like absolutely zero wind right now. It blows my mind, and I know that just sounds odd to some people because they're like, big deal, you have no wind, but it's always windy here. Anyway, I got some killer footage, I think. I got some pretty cool footage of, of a pond and stuff out here, and, and uh, I'm gonna go charge it up, and I'm gonna go back out later because it's gonna be this way all day long. Alrighty, I'm gonna head back into town. Uh, I'm not sure what time it is. Me and Emily are gonna go have soup for lunch. I know on a hot day, soup sounds really weird, but it smelled delicious. At the local supermarket, they they have smelled like chicken noodle soup and it smelled amazing. So that's what we want, we're craving it now. So at lunchtime, we're gonna go have some soup and uh, see what else happens today. I know there's gonna be more flying, definitely more flying. I will see you in the what? Oh yeah. yeah. The next clip. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 We're cool. Oh yeah. We are cool. We are the coolest kids on the block, and that's for sure. Emily back out of the chicken noodle soup thing. She went and got chicken. <laughs> but whatever. I thought the soup still sounded good. So I got me a medium soup. I got me a monster. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd my... <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, don't ever leave me again. I love you. That's weird. <laughs> You're weird. You want this? Do you want this? Do you? <laughs> it just lays me out.
All right, it is lunchtime. Here's your um, cheese. She puts this nasty, probably synthetic cheese on her potato uh, wedges. In there, in my chicken. It's probably not even real. It's probably like made from melted plastic or something. Well, it's good. It sure does taste good. It's flavored, cheddar flavored plastic. Probably not good for you at all. Plug up your poop chute. Well, I've been able to poop lately, so. Everybody that watches this just heard that you pooped lately. Okay, everybody poops. This is true. Anyway, we're getting ready to eat lunch. Why are we talking about feces? Okay, it's getting hot out there today on the way home. Just cut it open with scissors. Last time I tried to bite that thing open, I squirted cheese in my mouth and about threw up. It is blazing out there today. They, they're talking like a heat, uh, heat advisory. It's getting hot. Very hot. It felt pretty good this morning. You were totally going to drop that on the floor. This is the this is the kid that would would set on the two by four and then cut the wrong side so when she cut it it she would fall. You know the picture where it shows. Anyway, what I was saying, it's hot. Oh, look at my cookie! And it is summertime. Look at the size of this cookie. This cookie is literally the size of my face. No, it's probably bigger than mine. Hey, I got a big face. <laughs> this cookie is the size of her face. <laughs> uh, eat it all at once. Cookie slap. So it's nice and cool inside, um, but outside is blazing hot. Um, and my wife and myself have to do our bike ride and our ab exercises tonight. And by the time we're done doing that, we're always soaking wet with sweat anyway. So it's going to be a rough one today. Well, you guys have been slacking. Well, I haven't been slacking. I've been exercising every day. Your mom missed a few days over the weekend because she was busy. So back off, back off. I don't see you exercising anything besides I besides a lot. from from or musicallys and from the couch to the fridge. I bike all the time with my friends and go swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen is one of my favorite lesbians. She is definitely one of my favorite. Um, my sister's a lesbian, which maybe <laughs> maybe that's personal. I don't know. But she is. My sister's married to a woman and has been for quite a few years now. And uh, she's one of my favorite lesbians, too. Both of them are. I just hate cheese off the counter. Ew. But Ellen, Ellen definitely. Ellen's awesome. You gotta love her. Anyway, guys... And gals and people of the YouTubes and the interwebs and the deep cyberspace vortex of socialism. Wait a minute. No. Social media. Um, I will see you in the next clip. Are you swimming? <laughs> no, you were doing that. I'm going to beat this kid. Come here. Dropped Emily and a friend off at the pool. Went out to get a drone flight. I've already gotten a drone flight for the day. And I did a flight. I flew. But I didn't uh, hit record on the GoPro. So I flew all around town. Follow me mode. Following the golf cart, had the camera tilted down just a little bit, getting some crazy footage, getting some backwards footage, doing all sorts of fun stuff. I landed it, and uh, I, I even got some some footage over a construction area. They were working, flew over that, panned down, was checking it out, because they had the road closed, so I flew over, because I felt like I was doing something wrong, which is always fun. And when I landed it, I realized I forgot to hit start. On the GoPro. The thing about the Typhoon G, I already had the GoPro, so I bought that one. I've already said this. I, I bought the Typhoon G because I already had a GoPro that would have saved me some money on buying one with a camera. The benefit of buying one with a camera already on it is there's two buttons on top and on left and right. One button is to snap a picture. One button is to start and stop video. That would come in handy when you're up in the air. So. I do like the option of a GoPro. 
I like the GoPro and I think the GoPro is fantastic quality. I think the fact that you can put a Hero 4 in there and make it a 4K drone without paying the extra thousand dollars for a 4K drone. So, <laughs> but the downfall and saving money is great and I saved, I saved some money on, on just using my GoPro and not buying the drone with a camera already on it. I did save a chunk of money doing that, but there's a trade-off to doing that, and that is if you're up there and you forgot to start the or forgot to start the GoPro, which I've done more than once, um, I've had to bring it down, start the GoPro, and send it back up. This time I totally forgot, didn't even realize I did not start the GoPro. And I, I, I took off and I did my whole. So I've got a couple hours of charging, and I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to end the vlog today, but the next footage you see, the next clip you'll see, is of this drone footage that I actually remember to start the GoPro on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me a marker and I'm going to write right on my drone, do not forget to click record. I'm going to put it right on there, right on top. I don't care how it looks, so I always remember, do not forget to click record God, it's frustrating it is absolutely frustrating that that happened whatever i mean it's just that's the way it goes i guess um i will eventually buy a typhoon 4k uh drone um i will absolutely buy another gopro that is 4k and i will start recording 4k footage always um there's a trade-off to recording 4K too. The files are massive, um, so editing, like, I, I will probably not record 4K for my vlogs and things like that, simply because f through the edit and the and the the exporting process and then the YouTube processing and then the YouTube uploading, it it would be too time-consuming. So staying full HD is fine with me. Um, a lot of times I just go 720. Sometimes I go 1080. Um, I can record 1080p. Sometimes I do 720 just to save time and, and space and things like that. But anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here. I thank you guys so much for watching this episode of my daily vlogs. And if you watch me all the time or just occasionally or watch the weekend vlogs or whatever you do, I do appreciate you taking your time to watch my videos. And I would appreciate if you would share them. Tell friends and family and others that that uh, I'm on the YouTubes and try to help me out, boost this channel a little bit. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Don't forget, the next clip will be some aerial footage that I flubbed up on the first time. See you tomorrow.